Hello again, it's Suzanne Elizabeth and I wanted to check in with you. Now that the stuffed pumpkin is ready to come out of the oven, I wanted to give you a look at um, what the finished product is. It's beautiful and I have to admit I did actually add some more cheese. So, here we go. Fresh out of the oven, hot out of the oven. And I want you to see, I, I think you can see that quite well, actually. As you can see, um, I've taken the top off of the pumpkin about 20 minutes before it was done. And I took the liberty of adding some more cheese to it, because um, you can never have enough cheese in any dish as far as I'm concerned. And as you can see, it's just gorgeous. And as I said before, you can tell it's done because a knife easily pokes through there. And now I'm going to show you how easy this is to just dig in there. And as you can see, it's just a gooey, gooey, delicious mosh pit of spinach and bread and cheese and and that's something I forgot to mention before one thing you can do don't feel you know I put spinach and mushrooms and chipotle cheddar in here be creative I've made this before with sausage I've made it with bacon and spinach um, I think one thing that I'd love to do, I love broccoli rabe, it's one of my favorite vegetables. Uh, broccoli rabe with some hot Italian sausage and the bread, the bread really it, um, is a nice thickener. And, um, and then the cream, I think that would be absolutely fabulous. Um, I would experiment in the future and see if you don't want to have milk, a milk dairy product in there. Um, experiment with using a chicken stock or a vegetable stock. The, the point is, is that be creative. Make this dish your own, something that you love. And, um, and then you'll be in the kitchen more often and really enjoying yourself. So that's it for tonight. Thank you again for joining me. Uh, you can find the full recipe for this on YouTube where I posted the entire process of me making it. And once again, get in the kitchen, join, join your family and your friends in the kitchen, and enjoy a glass of wine, and enjoy cooking. See you next time at Suzanne Elizabeth's. Good night.